Raft is such a gem of a game that we found recently, and we're having an absolute blast with it. But it wasn't always rainbows and sunshine, we started out kicking and screaming, dying to anything that could get its hands on us. From brutal shark attacks, to starvation, or even falling overboard during a storm, we've experienced basically all of it. So we thought it'd be really nice of us to create a tips and tricks video to share what we've learned on our journey. Aren't we just generous? If you're interested in watching our playthrough of Raft, why not subscribe and click that bell notification to get notified when we release videos. We'll be playing a lot of this game for a while, so expect plenty of videos coming soon. Now without further ado, let's talk about tips and tricks for Raft. For tip number one, I'm going to start this off with the most important tip. You need wood more than anything. Collect as much as you can and use as little as possible because you will need wood if you want to do or build anything. You'll need it if you want to expand your raft and you'll need it if you want to cook food or purify water. So basically wood is your lifeline. There is always a constant supply of wood. The problem is that you burn through it so fast trying to do anything. But the best way to gather wood are from barrels, islands, or even breaking down some of your own raft you built with an ax. Remember, you can always use that research table. Get to the point where you can research upgraded tools which will require metal instead of wood so you can save those planks for building more important things like, say, 200 chairs. The most important thing though is that you remember to hold off on big projects or don't build too much too soon because you'll need as much wood as possible in the early game to survive. The first tools you'll want to build are a spear and a hammer. I'd personally say the spear is probably the first tool you're going to want to build because the sooner you build the spear, the sooner you can start whittling away at the shark's health and get his meat for food. But more importantly, you can protect your raft from shark attacks. Likewise, the hammer you can quickly rebuild whatever the shark destroys, but what would you rather do? Rebuild after the shark hurts you or just hurt the shark? Later on, you can also build an axe to harvest trees when you get to islands, but the axe can also be used to break down parts of your own raft, which will return about half the resources it took to build. Once you've gotten the basic tools, you'll quickly need to focus on water and food. Build a water purifier and grill as soon as you can. On top of that, you'll probably want to build a cup and a fishing pole ASAP as well. I would say it's worth it just to eat any vegetables you find in order to survive to the point where you can make a fishing pole. Once you start collecting fish, maintaining hunger will be a breeze. Then you can worry about getting down planters if you really want to. Don't let yourself get too dehydrated or hungry because you'll start moving very slowly, and if you fall into the water while under this effect, you're probably going to die. Tip number four is to make the most of your gathering sickle. While it is cheap to craft, it does have a health bar, so it's kind of important to collect as much as possible before the tool breaks. When throwing the tool, it is best to fully charge it and throw it pretty high up as if you're throwing the tool far beyond the floating resources you want to gather. Then you can drag it in as needed and time it so it picks up different resources along the way. And if you see a long line of resources, you can throw the sickle out in front of them and just leave it in the water. It stays the same distance away and moves in the water along with the raft so you can collect as much as you want. And to be extremely efficient, you can also collect floating resources that come near your raft by walking up and pressing E, even while having the sickle out in the water. This also works with the fishing pole as well. For tip number five, bolts are a key ingredient in big gear upgrades that you'll need to make living on the raft that much easier. The metal fishing rod and large storage chest are just an example of that. The best ways to get bolts before you can smith them in the end game is to find coolers on islands or abandoned rafts. Rafts are much easier because you can just jump on them and then let them sink a little bit. Once they're low enough, you can grab the chest off the top and it'll likely have a bolt in it for you. However, islands can be a little bit trickier. You might need to have built a second or third story on your raft to be able to jump off the top onto some of the taller islands. And don't forget, you can build paddles to steer yourself in certain directions before you get a sail. Either way, once you get a bolt, everything will get more convenient. For tip number six, islands have an extra benefit hidden away if you can safely make it to them. They have plenty of underwater resources for you to harvest so long as you can keep the shark at bay. If you've been doing any fishing, you can make shark bait, throw it in the water and wait for the shark to latch onto it. At that point, you have somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute to swim down and gather as many resources as possible before the shark re onto you. At the bottom of the island, you'll find many different resources such as sand, clay, clams, seaweed, scrap metal, or even ores. Once you're far enough into the game and are past the struggling to survive phase, I'd say it's your best bet to start building collecting nets. Ideally start building these before you do any crazy add-ons to your raft. If you're in it for the long haul, these nets will automatically collect any floating debris that comes near it, leaving you with free time on your hands to do whatever else you need to do, without worrying about missing too many resources. 
And that's about all the tips we have for you right now. Stick to what I've said and you'll be smooth sailing. But if you're still having some trouble, leave a comment down below and we'll guide you through whatever you need. And don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. We're trying really hard to create something that we can be proud of by stockpiling these tips from our mistakes in the games that we play and sharing our knowledge with the community. And remember to keep an eye out for our raft videos coming out soon. We had a blast playing. In any case, don't be a stranger, and I'm sure we'll see you around soon. Thanks for watching.